Michael and Trevor Tolo here for Solution Systems. And today I want to talk a little bit about one of Business Central's uh, newest features that came out with the fall release 2020 Wave 2, and that is the Company Hub. So some users in your organization may need to have access to different Business Central tenants. You know, maybe they're an accountant and they work with multiple different customers that are, that are running Business Central. And, they're, you know, they're really tired of logging in to one, logging out of the other, and having hop in. It really kills productivity. So according to Microsoft, the Business Central Company Hub can give you a list of the companies that you're working in. Uh, you can easily add new companies just for, by providing the URL and name for that company. Once these companies show up in the Company Hub, you're going to see some KPIs. Um, like I said, you'll have access to all different companies right from one page. And you can have a list of assigned user tasks for any given company that uh, you can keep track of when required. So how do you get the information from a different Business Central tenant into yours? Well, you want to start off by searching, typing in Company Hub. Go to Company Hub. From here, you want to click Environment Links. You want to select New. Just want to give it some number that you can keep track of for this one. You know, order number like 101, 201, whatever it is that you like. This one I'm going to do 501. And the environment link, this is the link of the other Business Central environment that you would like to pull in information from. I happen to have one right here that I want. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. And once you paste it, the next step is pretty crucial. You want to test the connection. It says we recommend that you verify that you can access the target company so that we can verify your permissions and you can provide consent if needed. Would you like us to open the company in a new window to verify your access? A lot of most times you want to select yes, open the company in the window. Uh, this company is a sandbox that I created, so I know that I have the proper access, so I'm going to select no. And it says the link was successfully validated. Now, all we really need to do is come back here. Let's search Company Hub again. And there you'll see, it's pulled in the information from the link that uh, I gave the system to obtain the information from. Right here, I can see cash accounts balance, you know, some different KPIs over these sales invoice amount. What's really nice about this is, let's just say you have 10 different companies here um, that you need to work with. You just simply select the one that you want, and it takes you to that company, and it'll open up that environment. No more logging in, logging out, that type of thing. So it's really nice. Uh, you can open things in Excel. You can see your user tasks. You can see errors right here. If you have any errors, we'll check for errors. I don't believe I have any. So it's very, very nice and uh, definitely going to save you a lot of time. 